Have you been hearing about the changes in real estate regarding agent compensation? Are you wondering how it may affect you when buying a home? Well, today we're gonna to talk about these changes and what you can expect when starting the home buying process. Hello, I'm Sherry Lorenz, your friendly neighborhood realtor with Century 21 Epic. You might have heard about the recent lawsuit involving the National Association of Realtors, or NAR as we like to call them, which has led to some changes in how commission compensations are handled. It's really crucial to understand that these changes are not new laws, but they're really clarifications on our existing practices regarding commissions that are offered to buyer's agents. And let's start with a little background. Traditionally, when a property is sold, the seller pays a commission that is split between the seller's agent and the buyer's agent. This split was often not fully transparent, which also led to some confusion and lack of clarity for both buyers and sellers. Due to the lawsuit, there's now a push for greater transparency in how these commissions are disclosed and paid. Recent changes following NARS settlement have introduced new benefits for home buyers. Why don't we break that down to see what these changes mean for you? First, you will now sign a written agreement with your agent before touring a home. This agreement ensures that you and your agent are on the same page about the services provided and the compensation involved. Before signing, make sure the agreement reflects the terms that you actually have negotiated with your agent. Understand exactly what services and value will be provided and for how much for those services. The buyer agreement must include four key components concerning the compensation. The first one is it should be specific and disclose the amount or rate of compensation that the agent will be receiving and how this amount will be determined. Number two, compensation that is objective, such as a flat fee or a percentage or even an hourly rate, but not open-ended. Number three, a term prohibiting the agent from receiving compensation for brokerage services from any source exceeding the amount that you have agreed upon. And number four, a statement that broker's fees and commissions are fully negotiable and not set by law. These written statements apply to both in-person and live virtual home tours, but if you're just speaking to an agent at an open house or asking about their services, a written agreement is not required. Now, sellers may agree to offer compensation to your agent, but this offer cannot be shared on a multiple listing service or MLS. MLSs are our local marketplaces used by both buyer brokers and listing brokers to share information about the properties for sale. You can still accept concessions from the seller, such as offers to pay for closing costs and such. All these changes will take effect on August 17th. Importantly, some things haven't changed. Agents who are realtors, such as myself, are dedicated to helping you through the home buying process and are ethically obligated to work in your best interest. Compensation for your agent remains fully negotiable and if your agent is a realtor, then they adhere to a realtor code of ethics. When finding an agent to work with, ask questions about compensation and understand what services you are receiving. Knowing all your options will help you make the best decision for your needs. For more details about these changes and what they mean for you, please reach out to me via a phone call, text message, or even an email. Remember, you have choices and I'm here to help you navigate every step of the way.